welcome to August Scrawler Box. In tradition of me about to do a video which mainly features my hands, I have done something dumb and that is I went and peeled a load of beetroot. So I have pretty pink hands. So yeah, don't worry about me, I haven't scalded myself or anything. It's just beetroot. It's good for you. Alright, let's open up this scrawler box. Oh my gosh, it matches my hands! Look at that, that's very cute. It's like an anime dessert ice cream fantasy. It reminds me of Kim Chi from Drag Race. I think she would appreciate this. It's by Laura Tattersfield. We've got some paper. Oh, it's um, quite shiny. Oh, okay. We look to have some brush pens. Sticker. The sweetie this week is Sour Shocker. Let's have a look. Even if the sun isn't shining where you are, use these supplies to produce an artistic gem to brighten up your summer. That's pretty appropriate because it's winter in Aberdeen. We have three Zig clean colour brush pens. Pink. Uh, Persian blue and flesh colour uh, by Kuritake. So we've had a lot of pens from them. They've all been very good. I've got no complaints and I think we're really getting to see their whole catalogue. Obviously they've got quite a good relationship with Scrollerbox. We've got a Unikura Toga Mechanical Pencil 0.5. It feels quite nice in the hand, quite nice size. Rubber on the back. A Pentel Hybrid Gel Grip Pastel Pen. Um, it says it's not as opaque as some other gel pens, but this allows you to build up layers of varying intensity and give great depth to work. That's a great way to cover the fact that your pen is not as opaque as other gel pens, but okay, whatever. Okay, and we've got a Zeek Mangaka drawing pen, 05 Violet. This sounds interesting. It's a violet, very purple, fine liner. 180 GSM white free acid paper, so it'll be nice for marker paper. Has a very smooth feel to it. I feel like there's slightly two different sides, like one is slightly shinier. I'm going to have a little test of the colours of these markers, as usual. I might actually just try them on one of these sheets of paper. So let's try out the markers. This is the flesh colour. That's the colour of the flesh. You can just see it's very light. The pink, oh my goodness, is a very, very intense, bright pink. like just lovely just a little touch very soft and nice line width matches my thumb <laughs> and the blue these are really fun just to play with mechanical pencil obviously you don't get a lot of pressure difference but if you're out and about where can you go wrong? You know, you don't have to sharpen it and it's got an eraser on the other end so you can pretty much just take that and some and a little sketchbook and you can do some sketching. So, the Violet Fine Liner. I love that colour. It's a good size because you can get still get a good amount of detail in with a 0 0.5. And I'll try and use the gel pen over some of the colours I've put down already. It's sort of getting less opaque as it dries. You can see there where I've put it over the pink and in that corner where I've put it over the blue. And um, with these very uh, bright and vivid selection of pens, our theme is Sweet Sunday. Definitely like Sunday, like a dessert. Ice cream and cherries and toppings. I'm on a diet right now so I'm probably going to live vicariously through this scroller challenge. Okay everyone, that's the August box. The pencil I think I'll be doing the sketch with and then we've got something for line art, something for colour and something to put on highlights. This lovely print by uh, Star Squeak, a very similar palette and stuff so it should give us some ideas. Hopefully I'm going to do the challenge and come up with something sweet and full of sugar for you. I'll see you later, bye! So I started by laying down some masking tape and I changed the orientation there. And then I was just sketching out my design. I couldn't remember what those wafers looked like, so I got a bit of a reference on my phone. They're kind of a heart shape at the top. Going for a sundae um, in a little pot 
and I just wanted it to be cute and very bright and I had this idea in my head I love the way that the pink here in the print we got went right to the edges of the paper and I wanted to take the colour right to the edge which is why I laid down the masking tape and in my head it was going to be this like big swirl of ice cream around the sundae it ended up being a little bit too saturated with the colour because I kind of got a little carried away with the pens but I do quite like it it's kind of like a big crazy swirly neon thing the colours are really bright, the brush pen's very vivid, um, they do mix a bit so you get kind of a purple where the blue and the pink cross. They go darker as you lay them down on top and they do really nice thin fine lines but I did probably try and cover too much area with them so they were starting to go a little bit dry and, um, at points. I had my water brush and I was using that to kind of try and get some colour variation because we only had three colours and it's quite a detailed picture so I used the water brush to dilute some of it but you can see on the bottom left there it kind of just it didn't really mix very well um, it didn't say you could use a water pen on them it was just me trying something it didn't really work very well I ended up going back over that bit to kind of fill it back in I used the white gel pen here for the background and for some highlights on the picture um, you definitely had to go over it plenty of times. You can see that I've snuck in a little bit of Posca there because it's getting a little bit frustrated that I couldn't get the coverage that I wanted from the gel pen. It worked okay for the background. I managed, I did use it to get these little details. I was doing sort of hundreds and thousands in the background and I was also using the purple fine liner to do these little details. Okay, and that's, uh, that's me pretty much done with this picture. I hope you like it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.